Welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Today, I'm doing a collaboration with moms talking about encouraging girls in STEM. Encouraging girls in STEM from an early age up through high school. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. I will leave a playlist below so that you can hear what moms are doing with their daughters to encourage STEM at an early age. I'm going to share with you some simple ways that you can encourage a girl in your life, whether it's your niece, your granddaughter, your daughter, your cousin, or a student. It really doesn't matter. We want to encourage girls to know that they can go into the fields of STEM. The first way I want to share with you is to involve girls in coding. When we think about coding, a lot of times we think about boys coding and playing video games, but coding is so much more. And there are so many ways to get girls involved in coding. You can go to code.org, which is a free resources that puts a child through level by level and teaching them how to do basic coding. This is a great way to begin to get them involved in engineering and you can start as early as kindergarten with this program and you can set the levels as you need it and there will be a link below. One of the things I like to do is use robotics. Robotics is another way that you can involve girls in STEM. For instance, like my friend Dash. Dash is a simple robot that you can do blocky coding with. Let me turn Dash, Dash on. With Dash, there are several coding components and puzzles that can teach a child step by step how to code Dash and do various things. For instance, on this one, it's coded for Dash to Dance and do several things on here. Also, another robot I like to use is called the Spiro Bolt. The Spiro Bolt it has an app also where you would download and it's basic coding and get to see Spiro roll around, move around, and talk just like Dash Talk. There are many types of robotic activities out there that you can find on Amazon or different other places. Dash is by Wonder, and so you can go on their website. You can find free curriculum that you can use with mathematics, language arts, history, science that you can use to code Dash with and use. I will leave a link to, for Dash below and for Spiro. You can encourage girls in STEM by providing a way for them to do fun, hands-on, engaging experiments. You can do this by one, simply making them a science toolkit. A science toolkit doesn't have to be expensive. You can just provide cups, a magnifying lens, so a, a ruler, um, a measuring cup, some tweezers, tape measure, things that they can use on a regular basis, straws, paper clips, toothpicks, just some basic materials that they will have on standby so that they can conduct an experiment when ready. You can also set up a, a station for experiments for them to conduct whenever they would like to. Of course, you know, provide things for them that are easy with step-by-step -step instructions. And if they're younger, then just guide them and show them and help them throughout the process. Start young with kids when it comes to doing science experiment. Don't pick the ones that are hard and difficult and the concepts that uh, they may not be ready to understand, but pick some of the basic ones and build up through that girl's life. That will fuel her passion for science, that will fuel her passion for STEM even. Because you know when you're doing science, sometimes you're using mathematics, sometimes you're using technology. 
So it is okay. Another way, uh, besides just making a kit, if you want to provide something on a monthly basis for a, a girl, it could be your granddaughter, and it could be your daughter. Order a science kit. Order something that they can receive monthly. When my daughter, granddaughter Amaya was young, I sent her a Steve Spangler monthly box kit where she could do science activities and there would be several of them in the box for her to try out. So that is another way that you can fuel that girl's passion and love for science and mathematics and to encourage her in the areas of STEM. Encouraging girls in STEM is important, so we want to find as many ways as we can throughout their life to encourage them in this field. You can provide books for girls, books like Add a Twist Scientist. This is a fun book and it's written uh, on a rhyming basis, but it's this, this girl who's just curious about science and she asks why, how, when, what, where, and her curiosity gets to her and she just goes through the house and she's doing things that she's not supposed to because she's so curious and she's wondering why things work the way they work. This is a fun book to get for to get for a girl to encourage her in STEM and to see that it is okay to be curious and to ask questions and then find ways to find the answer to those questions. As girls get older, you can get them books like Women in Science so that they can find women who they, they can look up to. Women like Rachel Carson. Women like uh, Catherine Thornton, an astronaut, Sally Ride, Dr. Mae Jemison, women like uh, Catherine Johnson, so many women, Amelia Earhart, who have went into the field of STEM that can encourage them to go in the same direction and to know that it is okay and that if these women could do it, they can do it also. There are also magazines that you can purchase that your daughter or granddaughter that you can send to or niece or just a friend's daughter that you can send magazines like Scholastic Super Science. These magazines offer science activities, science resources, online resources that your uh, girl in your life can use and learn about several different topics when it comes to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. For instance, on this Scholastic Super Science, it is featuring a young lady who's interested in being an astronaut, and she has went to different uh, space camps. She met Katherine Johnson, and so she has been feeling her passion at a young age. And this would be a great role model for a girl to read about at a young age. There are many books that you can use to fuel. There are some like this one. What do you do with the chance? What do you do with the problem? And what do you do with an idea? These books will fuel them to start problem solving and thinking through things which is really important for in the areas of STEM. And so there are several different resources out there when it comes to books, but there are also videos that you can use that are safe for girls to watch. Uh, it can be on a, um, a biography of someone. It can be uh, an experiment that they can watch. Encourage them through these types of resources. And a lot of these resources are free. Some of these you can find at the library, but if you can't find these books and you really want them soon, then I'll have a link below that you can uh, click and uh, find these resources easily. One thing I've observed as an educator, I teach in public school, is that girls have a tendency to not participate in activities that they think are necessarily geared for boys. For instance, 
A lot of girls don't get on the robotics team. So I encourage them to get on the robotics team, to get on the mathematics team. A lot of girls pull away from that because they feel they have this fixed mindset that this is not for me. I can't compete against a boy. But guess what? Encourage them because they can compete and they can participate. And there's so much to learn and gain by participating in these types of teams. So encourage when they get in high school to join the math team, to, to take computer science, to join the engineering team. Push girls towards those things and encourage them to participate and and. Support them in it, because even if they have a downtime, don't say things like, well, if you want to quit, quit. No, encourage them that, you know what, you can do this. It may be hard right now, or this wasn't a good time, but you can still do it. You have the potential, you have the ability to uh, be successful and to compete in this area. So encourage them in this field. And when it comes to engineering, Start girls off young. Build roller coasters. You can buy simple materials um, to make roller coasters. You can use cardstock to do marble roller coasters. You don't have to buy much of anything. You can have them um, make use Legos and build different things. Uh, sometimes I hear people say that they got their son a Lego kit and he's been working on it. Well, what about your granddaughter? Get her Lego kit and let her work on it. Because design and engineering is an important field where we need women to be in. So provide ways for her to do engineering. Building, make it a flashlight. I mean, I have videos where I have STEM activities. Those activities are for everyone, whether you're a boy or a girl. Don't pull away because you think this is what a boy would like to do. Challenge your daughter and challenge yourself even to let her do the things that you think are typically for a boy. Be a mentor. You can mentor a girl in your life, whether it's at school, whether it's at a co-op, whether it's at church. If there's a girl in your life that's interested in STEM, be that support person for her. Provide uh, support in activities by showing up. If she's in the science fair, then be there for her and support her. If she needs help setting up the science fair, if she needs help uh, doing the experiment for the science fair, give her the support that she needs. She may be interested in going to a summer camp that's for STEM. Then help her with the application. Show her the things that she would need to be prepared for and um, uh, prepared for to go and what she would need to take. Whatever support she needs, you can be that mentor. Being a mentor doesn't mean you have to spend money. It could, it's just a volunteer where you're supporting a girl in the area of STEM. You can volunteer at a camp like a space camp and support girls that are there learning about space, learning new things about engineering. You can be that person that can encourage them and, and show them things that they didn't know or answer their questions or just giving them that smile that they need to know that they're in the right place. I have an opportunity this summer to go and mentor at Exelon STEM Academy and it's for girls in 10th grade and 11th grade and I'm really excited to be working with young ladies who are interested in STEM and to be there to support them and encourage them. There are so many ways that we can encourage our girls in STEM. There are so many opportunities for them in the field of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Let's think about this. What would life be like without a Katherine Johnson, without a Sally Ride? What would life be, we, be like without Marie Curie? What would our life be like with women in the field of STEM from years history. Women have an important part in society around this world. And in the area of STEM, 
we have a place there also. So be an encourager, be a supporter, and believe in STEM. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely did because this is one of my favorite topics. Remember there's a playlist below that you can look, watch other videos about this topic and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you and have a wonderful, blessed day.